you know, I thought travelling three hours south might mean that the weather would be a bit nicer. How wrong I was. It's freezing today. Should we go get some scram? Seems like a thing to do. If I lived here, I think I would have to get fat on purpose. I don't get how it can be this cold in April. It's the same longitude as England, isn't it? I'm gonna stop complaining now, I promise. Here we are, Leopold's Tavern. There we go. Look at that sucker. Today we're scoffing poutine, but not just any old poutine. This is Leopold's infamous punch bowl poutine. So named because, you guessed it, it's served in a punch bowl. Four pounds of taters, one pound of cheese, and an entire litre of gravy. If you can finish it in one sitting, you don't get the meal free, but you do get a spot on the Wall of Fame, and most importantly, a winner's t-shirt. That's what we're here for, let's get inside. Can't forget the warm-up sour patch, kid. Ooh, that one is tart. Either there's something wrong with this rental car, or I've been driving a bit recklessly. There we go, one-handed. <laughs> what a stud. Hi, I'm here for your uh, punch bowl poutine. Okay. I like the deco. What is that, a moose elk? Something like that. I'm not sure I believe that Tom Petty ever actually wore a Leopold's Tavern t-shirt, but it does look very stylish. So hopefully I can grab one of those. Can I get a... You sound like a Beatles member, but... Uh... A Beatles? What? I sound like a Scouser. Oh man, is this the shirt? That is ace. So it's Punchbowl Poutine versus Godzilla. I hope that's the t-shirt. I mean, you can buy it anyway, if you want. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty big. <laughs> it's kind of eerily quiet now. You're just gonna have to listen to me, you know, like my lips smacking for however long it takes me to finish this, assuming I can. I do not think you're gonna finish it. You don't think I'm gonna finish it? No? <laughs> we'll see. I think we're gonna need this secondary plate. I need to be taller. Should have bought one of those booster seats that toddlers get in cars. Leopold's Tavern, right? right? And you're famous for this, the punch bowl poutine, right? Yeah. How much does it cost? $58. One sitting, if you finish it, I get a t-shirt. You don't think I'm gonna do it, do you? No. <laughs> I love how, uh, how sure you are that I'm not gonna I finish it. I me wrong. Yeah? For the YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> not for anyone's health. You can still change your mind, you know. I don't even know how to eat it. Shall I just eat it out on the bowl? Ooh, it's still pretty hot. Yeah, that'll be the gravy. One of nature's finest liquid insulators. And a good job too. Nothing like a belly full of cheesy chips to warm the very marrow of your bones. What's up, Benami? Welcome back to another episode. And uh, it wouldn't be much of a Canadian adventure without the national dish of Canada now, would it? And as you can no doubt see, that's what we're doing today. I've already got gravy in my beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hot. Yeah, you said that already, you big wazzock. Also, if you're uh, if you're triggered by slurping noises, I know some people are. You might want to sit this one out. I'm trying to be as elegant as possible, but eating out of a punch bowl has its limitations. There are worse things to get in your beard than gravy. It'd be a nice treat later on on the drive home. It reminds me a little bit of a. Uh, like a good old fashioned British roast dinner. Apart from the cheese, of course. I've not got very far yet. Still, it's still pretty full. <laughs> it is the perfect antidote though to the, uh, the ambient temperature. It's warming me up. Oh, you called, mate? I'd, I'd never have guessed. Not like you mentioned it. 38 times already. Anyway, Leopold Stavon, uh, Punchbowl Poutine. This historically has been meant to share, but they put out a post on Instagram not long ago saying that if one person could finish it solo, they would get uh, a Polaroid on their wall of fame and a t-shirt. And uh, nobody has done it at this location yet, but apparently somebody did it at one of their other many locations around here. I think the service said they've got like 20, 21 locations, something like that, I think. Gotta get some of the chips that have fallen over. 
I'm trying not to make a messy table, but um, it's kind of happened already. I'm, I'm sorry. This is going down now. I've made it then at least. <laughs> I think she's coming around. Look at the steam still coming off it. Yeah, it's holding its heat surprisingly well. Although, to be fair, I suppose I haven't really been eating that long. You starting to think you might have been wrong? <laughs> you never know though. It's pretty rich. The music is off though, so I thought I would try and eat reasonably quickly, so you didn't have to listen to me eat for too long. Can I possibly get a, a Diet Coke? Do you have Diet Coke? Yeah. That would be amazing, thank you. Ooh, the salt's getting to me, I think. Between this and the last challenge, I'm gonna have feet like an elephant. Worth it though. This is the first time actually in ages I've had proper poutine with the squeaky little cheese curds and everything. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Almost there. Four pounds of potatoes, a pound of cheese, and a litre of gravy, which makes it about seven pounds. It's a bit mad to think that I did more than double that in 10 minutes, I think, at the Poutine World Champs 2019. Glory days. I'm over the hill now. It was pretty good, yeah. I enjoyed it. You didn't think I was going to do it, did you? No. I, I didn't know you were famous. I, I think maybe infamous is a better word. What was that, about 20 minutes, something like that? I think my leg was less. How do you feel? How do I feel? I feel like I'd like to look at your dessert menu. Do you have a dessert menu? Yeah. <laughs> Deep fried cheesecake. Could I have some deep fried cheesecake, please? Thank you. Oh, this is the shirt as well. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm, if anything, too excited. Nobody should ever be this excited about t-shirts, but it's a cool t-shirt. I've taken worse photographs than that. This flipping lens is killing me, man. I'm gonna have to go back to the old one. Deep fried cheesecake. What a time to be alive. Thank you very much. I just know this is gonna taste good. Oh, it's tasty. Is there anything that doesn't taste better when it's deep fried? If there is, I don't wanna hear about it. Probably sacrilegious to say this here, but I hate Alanis Morissette music. Oh, take that as a souvenir. I hope it's warmer out there now. That wasn't too tricky. Two episodes, two t-shirts. It's the kind of win ratio we're looking for, yeah. Do you like your shoes, by the way? They've got little tigers on them. It's not in the way you say my Ooh, yeah. What tune? <laughs>